Hi guys, I'm Cami and I will be bringing the devotional for you today. Um, I hope that you are all doing well and our verse of the day is coming from all verses of the day are coming from John 6, 66 to 69 and they go as follows. At this point, many of his disciples turned away and deserted him. Then Jesus turned to the twelve and asked, are you also going to leave? Simon Peter replied, Lord, to whom would we go? You have the words that give eternal life. We believe and we know you are the Holy One of God. I um, kind of wanted to share from these verses today because um, it's I've been sitting on them for a while and I um, have been sitting on them because I want to have the re revelation that Peter had. Um, he immediately said, Lord, to whom would we go? You have the words that give eternal life. We believe and we know you are the Holy One of God. And um, I think sometimes we can fall into a trap of thinking um, that we can, that there's better outside of Jesus. Um, we can fall into the trap of thinking that um, money, social standing, um, fame, um, relationships, whatever it might be, we, we have this um, belief that they will give us security, that they will give us, um, that they will validate us, that they will give us worth. Um, when all of that we can only ever find in Jesus. And um, I want us as young adults to just have that revelation that like, there's nothing for us outside of God. Like, where could we go? He is our creator. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And I think sometimes when we are going through trials and tribulations and there's confusion and there's doubt and we're asking questions like, God, do you really care? Lord, are you there for me? Do you do you want good for me? I pray that we would remember that he is a good God and um, that he cares for us, that we are intimately known by him and that um, he will finish what he started and that we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And I pray that in those moments, instead of trying to find solace and trying to find um, find our worth or whatever it might be in, in outside things, in worldly things, that we would turn to his word and that we would read and remember the promises that he speaks over us, that we would have, that we would remember that he is the Holy One of God, that, the, that he is that his words give eternal life, that everything we need is in him. And um, and so I just, and, and that um, not only is everything we need in him, but that, um, that we would just have that desire every day more and more, or that revelation every day more and more, that we don't really wanna go anywhere else, that better is one day in his house than a thousand elsewhere, that, um, Everything I need is in his, is in him. So I, why do I even want to go there? Why do I even want to entertain um, the worldly desires or entertain um, worldly things? I pray that we would get to that point where we're like, Jesus, you are enough and you have always been enough. And even if you don't do another thing for me, you dying on the cross for my sins um, is more than enough and will forever be enough. Um, and I just pray that that encourages you today. And I pray that we would just continue to just have that revelation that um, there's really nowhere that we can go. And that we would just have the, re re the revelation that, um, that we would just have that desire revelation that I don't want to go anywhere else. You are everything that I need. You are what I want, Lord. Um, there's a song by Stephanie, um, I can never say her surname, so I'm not going to try, but it's called, um, No One's Ever Cared For Me Like Jesus, and the words go, No one's ever cared for me like Jesus, his faithful hand has kept me all this way, and when I'm old and grey, and all my days are numbered on this earth, let it be known, in you alone my hope is found. And so I pray that you would remember that in him alone, your hope is found. Um, I pray that you guys have a beautiful day and um, see you soon. Bye.